Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's going to be reviewing a Chevy Silverado 2500 ZR2 Bison. Before we get into this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Larch Miller Chevy here in Provo, Utah for giving me some time with this truck. This particular truck is still available for sale for the time being, so if you're interested, I'll include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out this truck and the rest of the inventory that they have. And then on a side note, if you're going to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have the 6.6 liter Duramax diesel that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 470 horsepower and then 975 pound feet of torque. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting at the top, you guys can see the cab lights there, and then popping down below, notice the venting here, it's all blacked out. And this is everyone's favorite color on the new Silverado. It just looks so sharp. And then popping down below, really cool headlight design, like how it's all blacked out. And then you guys can see the Chevy bow tie, and unlike the 1500 ZR2, it's not a flow tie, it's all closed off, which I think is pretty cool. And then at the very bottom, we've got the AEV bumper. So we've got these really rigid recovery points right here. We've got fog lights built in. And I mean, this thing is just all ready for off-roading. And putting it all together, let me guys think about the looks of this truck. But in terms of like trucks from the factory, it has one of the best looking front ends. Now around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 305 by 70 by 18 in the front and over in the rear. And you guys can see here with the wheels, you got the AEV logo there in the center. And then really aggressive all-terrain tires. And then we do have the Multimatic shocks with this package as well. Pretty chunky looking fender flare here. And then notice our 2500 HD badge, ZR2 badge here on the side. And you guys can see the blacked up mirror cap and the door handles. And notice the bedside step as well. And then you can see Bison here on the side. And then here's a look at the Multimatic shocks in the back. And we do have leaf springs. And then here is the full side view with this truck. And then taking a look at the key fob, we have our lock and unlock function. We have the remote start function, the tailgate drop down, and then we've got the Chevy bow tie in the back. And popping into the bed, you guys can see protection here from the factory and tailgate does a little drop down feature here. So it turns into a step. You have a handle that also helps out with that whole setup. We do have LED lights here. We also have an outlet in the bed. And yeah, in terms of bed space, <laughs> it's pretty spacious. I love how it says ZR2 there at the end. I like how Chevy does that with their trucks. I think that's cool. And then picking this up, you guys can see it locks in. And boom, all in place. Notice we've got the matte black here on the back. And then you got all of our badges here, including the AEV badge. And then I love the bumper here on this truck. It looks so aggressive. And then you just have the normal Duramax exhaust tip. They didn't change anything like with the half ton. Putting it all together, I mean, in terms of HD trucks, this thing looks so cool. But let me know what you guys think. Now taking a look at the front door panel, you guys can see this has the easy to clean designed materials, just like the 1500 ZR2. Got a little bit of uh, factory wrapping, but anyways, that theme continues onto the seats and this has the cool storage. And then we've got more storage underneath the seat as well. And then you've got this flat loading floor. And then legroom here in the back is really good. We also have a little storage pocket. We've got some cup holders here, heated seats. You've got vents and USB ports as well. And then we've got a cup holder armrest. And then last but not least, headroom. It's good. And then taking a look at the front door panel, you guys can see again with this trim and then look at the gray trim there and then the neon stitching down below. All of our window controls, so now it's front door automatic. We got our mirror adjustments. The mirrors do power fold in and they extend out, which is really cool. Then your memory seat function, and then we do have blind spot monitoring with the mirrors, and then also speaker for the Bose sound system. And this being a 2500, you guys can see payload, 2,874 pounds. Now I've got the plastic wrapping here on the seat, but in the uh, headrest, it's got the AEV logo in it, and you can see the perforated texture that's all over the rest of the seat. And then the power adjustments here on the side. Got this for the parking brake. You've got your drive line select, so notice we've got our Four wheel auto, four wheel high, two wheel high, four wheel low, and then drive mode select built in there with your tow haul mode. Controls for the heads up display, and then your light controls here, and the steering wheel is manually adjustable. Now here's a quick look at the steering wheel. You can see soft touch all around. You've got the blacked out heavy bow tie there in the center, heat steering wheel button on the steering wheel. 
And uh, I don't know why they didn't turn off. <laughs> you got your cruise control. Controls to center stack, radio controls in the back. Turn signal slash windshield wiper stock. And we have our column shifter here for that 10 speed automatic. And then here's a look at the gauge cluster itself. You can see fully digital. I think that looks really cool. We also have a little tow haul mode that you can pop it into. And then you've got an off-road mode as well with this ZR2 package. No terrain mode like the 1500 though, interestingly enough. And then in reverse, we do have trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. And then you guys can see the viewpoints all around with the truck with this 360 camera system. Definitely helps out from a practicality standpoint because I mean, HD trucks are just enormous. And then as for the rest of the infotainment system, it's Chevy's new unit. So you've got that little side tab, responds very quickly. It has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay shortcut bar here on the side as well. Got some analog controls here for the infotainment screen, diesel exhaust brake, your lane departure, parking sensors, tailgate drop down. Hazard lights, stability control, that's for all the windows rolled down at once. Rear locking differential, and then your hill descent control. Trailer brake controls as well. We have heated and ventilated seats, dual zone climate, which we're gonna turn that off right now. Um, but yeah, I mean, you've got all the luxury features. Plenty of storage here in this area. And then we've got the center console, which has a wireless phone charging pad. Got an outlet in there and everything, so nice space. And I like the trim inside, it has a very nice texture to it. And that continues onto the dash as well by the way. But anyways, you got the double glove box set up here and it's definitely always a nice thing to have. Uh, this one also has the camera rear view mirror, power setting window. And interesting, I've noticed a lot of these bisons don't have sunroofs. Here's the window sticker for this ZR2. Um, you guys can see all the standard equipment. Base MSRP 70,600. Notice the Duramax 9,400 bucks. The Bison edition, another $9,100 on top of that. You also get extra skid plates underneath, by the way. Um, but yeah, you've got all of that after all options, 92,980. Let's see how it drives. Let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's visibility over the hood and hope you can see the heads up display. Both of the mirrors, do a blind spot ring. Got the rest of the rear. And let us set off in the ZR2 Bison. Um, I think that the I think the Ram dealership has a Rebel. This is completely unrelated, but we'll talk about it. I think the Ram dealership has a Rebel, and I think the Ford dealership might have a Super Duty Tremor. We'll see. If they do, we might have the coolest three-way comparison coming soon to a channel near you <laughs> between this, the Rebel, and the Tremor. I'm sure. There's a lot of you that are wanting to see that comparison, so hopefully we can put that together today. Uh, if not, well, another. there's always another day, right? So, first setting off in the ZR2. It's it's an HD truck, so it's a big beast, and you've, you definitely feel the size, but the independent suspension makes the turning not bad at all. And this new Duramax, very smooth, and yeah, it's got, it's got great torque. It definitely has great torque. But the thing I like the most is just the smooth nature of the powertrain. And this is pretty comfortable with the suspension, again, for being a big HD truck. It's a lot more comfortable than you might expect. Oh yeah, no problem moving those big tires. No struggle whatsoever. Wow. Yeah, I mean, that was, that was good. That wasn't even like full, full throttle too. Just crazy. It just has so much power. So I guess while we're summing things up, I'll uh, drive through the uh, Ford and the Ram lots so we can see if we got those uh, pickup trucks. It looks like Ram, I just cut it out of the corner of my eye. It looks like Ram and does have a Rebel. Yep, there's a silver Rebel right there. As you can see. There's a white one too. So it looks like we'll at least get ZR2 versus Rebel today. Um, but yeah, <laughs> how we're driving over to the Ford side. Super comfortable. Um, you know, these seats are a little bit on the harder side of things. That's just kind of like a GM seat thing, but they're not uncomfortable. I, I think they're, you know, me personally, I think they're pretty dang comfortable. I don't have any complaints about them. And then, yeah, the engine's great. This thing looks amazing. Super capable off-road. I mean, it's got everything that you could want and it's got all the cool cameras and everything as well so i mean it's it is all 
set up to go. I am not seeing, I'm seeing two Raptors. You got F-150 Raptor and you've got a Bronco Raptor as well. But I'm not seeing a Tremor, to be honest. Um, so yeah, overall, I, I think they did a great job with this package and it's just, it's such a cool looking truck. Um, and I hope that, my hope is that you know, with these six, I'm hoping that this is really, I, I've seen that these sell pretty quick. I'm hoping with this success that GM puts us more, with more trucks and I'm hoping that Ford and Ram, you know, step up and start doing some stuff with more stuff with, well, yeah, they don't really do anything with AEV with those trucks in terms of how Chevy does this more direct. So I think that'd be cool. And look at that. It's a 350, so it's not a perfect comparison, but it's still a tremor. I think we got a three-way comparison. So let me know what you guys think about the ZR2 and let me know if you're excited for that comparison.